The following video comes from Informantis Productions. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe today. Thank you. Morning, evening, night, depending on where you're watching from, Informantis here, and today we have a very interesting topic. In today's world, there are a lot of people that don't know how to convey small gestures of affection towards another person. More specifically, there are a lot of people that don't know how to flirt. Now, when it comes to flirting, there's a common misconception in the sense where a lot of people think it's very shallow and simplistic and one-dimensional, and this can be the case. But when done properly, flirting can be a very deep way of conveying intricate and complicated and personalized thoughts of affection towards another person. So today I'm going to outline some steps you can follow to achieve this higher level of flirting towards another person. So this begins step one, which is step one, learn to flirt properly with words. When it comes to flirting with words, a lot of people will immediately think of cheesy pickup lines. Now technically this is flirting with words, but it's not the higher level of flirting that's going to leave the person that you're flirting with with an appreciation for what you just said. So to flirt properly with words, what you firstly need to do is pick a physical feature of the person that you like. Now don't just pick any random physical feature. Try to restrict yourself to the person's face, as it will be much more intimate this way. So the eyes, the lips, and the cheeks are all good physical features to choose. Once you choose your physical feature, you need to come up with a simile to compare this physical feature to. A simile is a comparison using the words like or as for anyone that doesn't know. So for example, say I were to pick the person's eyes. I could say something like, your eyes glisten like a diamond does when it's hit gently by the sun's rays. Or if I were to pick the person's lips, I could say something like, your lips are as full and beautiful as the moon in the night sky. The more complicated and intricate your flirtation is, the more genuine it's going to sound. So to make your flirtation sound even more genuine, you can brainstorm some comparisons you can make. You can change the tone of your voice to match the atmosphere. You can make eye contact and you can make physical contact. So once you master flirting with your words, it's time to move on to the next step, which is Step 2. Learn to flirt properly with your body by using physical contact. Flirting with your body by using physical contact is all about the perfect timing. What you need to do here is make some sort of physical contact with the person without them questioning what you're doing or pulling away. To do this, you need to wait for or set up a shared intimate mood. To set up a shared intimate mood, you need to put yourself and this person in a place that has the potential to be romantic. Once you do this, start flirting with the person by using words, using the technique I outlined in the step before this. Once you feel a shared intimate mood, wait for a break in the conversation and then make your physical contact. You can try holding the person's hand, touching the person's cheek, or wrapping your arm around the person. Once you master this step, it's time to move on to the last step, which is 3. Learn to flirt properly with your body without using physical contact. Flirting with your body without using physical contact is something that we tend to do subconsciously. But if you can master it consciously, it could be a powerful flirting tool. Flirting with your body without using physical contact is pretty much limited to your eyes and your mouth. To flirt with your eyes, what you need to do here is look around the room, look at a few objects, but then look at the person and then choose a physical feature of that person in particular and just look at it. Act as if out of all the things in the room, that physical feature caught your attention. What this will convey to the person is that out of all the things in the room, that physical feature of theirs is the most eye-catching. To flirt with your mouth, there are several things you could do. You can look at the person and bite your lip to convey that you want to kiss them, or you could just smile in a flirtatious way to convey a more playful tone. I really hope this guide helps you guys out. Good luck, and follow Mantis out.